All right, so I haven't been here in a moment. So let's get back at this filming thing. You know, you take like a week off because things just start happening and with work, life, whatever, things you need to do just don't feel like filming. Let's keep it 100. It's, it's a lot of work to do this. And you look up and it's been like a week. <laughs> Anywho, so it is time for my VAB haul. Okay, the haul. Because the sale is amongst us. And I got to tell you how I got these goodies. So let's go ahead and get started with the video. Hey guys, this is Ashley. Welcome on back to my channel. So as you can see, I am doing my VIB haul for a VIB haul. And she really is a VIB haul because... I found out I wasn't rude, but I'll tell you about that in just a moment. So if you are new to this channel, welcome. If you're only a goodie, welcome on back. My name is Ashley. I have a doctor in pharmacy and I love makeup. So that's how you get Dr. Ash and her makeup. But please just call me Ash or Ashley. And eyeshadow is typically my jam. It is my favorite thing to talk about on my channel. But I don't have any eyeshadow in here. Do I? No, I don't have any eyeshadow. Okay, 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 okay. So let's see, let's go ahead and get started. So, <laughs> you know, you know when the sale is coming, like we all get the warnings. I've been knowing the sale is coming. I'm building my cart. And there was a couple things I purchased mm, last month because I was like, I just want some instant gratification and I don't want to wait to the sale. And that was the Danessa Myricks, um, the hydrating balm and the Makeup Forever um, hydrating foundation. So I bought those two things. Now, like I said, everything else was like, ooh, cart, you know, meaning like refills, new things that you're interested in, you know the gamut. So I get my cart together and I sometimes, the last few rounds, I like to go into the store because when you order things online, even if you're rouge, during the sale, it just takes such a long time. And you get it because they're busy and you they're probably like overwhelmed. There's 50,000 orders. People are making multiple orders. It's just a lot happening, right? So I kind of like to know what I'm purchasing. Maybe every once in a while in the store, surprisingly, you can have a like surprise purchase because you're like, oh, it's cute and I might as well. But so I had my cart together and I was like, okay, I live in Chicago. So I was like, I'll probably hit up like the Michigan Avenue store, which is pretty much the flagship store. They have the most inventory, the most everything, right? And then down the street is the store on Water Tower place smaller sometimes they have things if i'm not really just picking up like a couple of things i can go in and out and be done and then also there's a store in lincoln park on north avenue so between basically those two stores or maybe three i knew that i was going to be able to get what i wanted like instant gratification so i was off on friday when the sale started and the night before at work i ate some food and it didn't quite agree with me so my stomach was having a time. And so I was about to get dressed. And I was like, yes, I'm going to Sephora. And my stomach was like, nah, girl, <laughs> you should stay at home. So I was like, <laughs> let me stay at home. So I stayed at home. I was in my bed watching TV on my phone on the Sephora app. Okay, great. I can do same day delivery. Yes, my girl, Kara, this is Beauty in the Fridge. She talks about the same day delivery all the time. I'm like, you know, it's kind of perfect. I ain't got to go outside you know I can get my stuff it's gonna be great so I get ready to put the code in you know yay save code doesn't work how, how am I not active for the code so I go to my settings or my profile within the app I'm not rude anymore I'm VIB how did this happen I'm like how, what happened here I'm like, okay, because I just knew like probably Christmas would probably just put me over the little edge that I needed to be to just maintain my rouge status. Now, I have been like rouge status for the longest. Been rouge status since probably like 2016 consistently. Not like it's a good thing. Okay, let's start there. But been rouge because prior to me starting my YouTube channel, you know, I was buying makeup and that was the primary place I would purchase my makeup from. But now... You know, basically all the eyeshadow palettes that I'm demoing, they're pretty much indie brands. Some things have been sent to me, which I'm grateful. So 
I didn't realize, like, I didn't make Rouge status. I'm VIP. So I'm like, I can't shop until the ninth. I'm like, well, that sucks. And then I'm talking to my homegirl, Pam, and I'm like, girl, do you know I ain't even got my Rouge status? I'm like, now I'm glad I didn't spend all that money last year. That That is great, right? But I want my perks back because, you know, Rouge, you get 20%. Honestly, some look, really, you really need 30% when it it comes to the sale like let's let's be honest okay and you could definitely probably find better deals on these retailers private website versus sephora but we get it you know mama pat always got a sale going Natasha Denona always got a sale going but you know a lot of times it's just easier to source all especially all these different products one place you know so then I'm telling my YouTube homegirls, you know, Yadi, Jamila, and Kara, I'm like, y'all. And Jamila's like, dang, I gave away all my codes because I just knew. And I was like, girl, I just knew until right now that I was surely rouge and going to be able to shop. Like, first of all, hashtag goofy, just goofy, first of all, because I'm crying over being rouge, but I really don't want to be rouge, but I want to be rouge for the benefits and the perks, but I don't want to spend all that money. So I'm like proud of myself. Nah, I think so. I think VIB is like 300, 400, maybe 500 at the max. Rouge is definitely you have to spend a thousand dollars. So <laughs> glad I have it. Right. So then Yadi was like, oh, let me see. So my girl Yadi came through. She hit me with the cold the next morning and I was able to give my stuff. Same day delivery, which worked because now it's Saturday and I had chapter meeting for an organization that I'm in and I had to go to work after that. And I was like, I'm going to still need my stuff, okay? Because I'm going to need my 20% off and I'm going to need it early and I need my instant gratification. Yes. So let's go and go ahead and do the haul. Usually with the haul, sometimes I show them, sometimes I don't because like usually my hauls are realistic and that's okay. Like we don't have to spend all the money. Everybody got a budget. Everybody got lifestyle things to do, food to buy, <laughs> gas to purchase, to go to work, to get to work, do whatever else you need to do for your family. So I, I get it. Budgets are everything. And I've talked about how I budgeted my money before. So let me tell you something. So I got my stuff. I probably spent a little bit more than I usually have in the previous sales, but I kind of knew that going in. And I have this one credit card that I like never, ever use anymore. So I just put it on that and I was like, I'll pay it slowly off. Like the interest is not that bad on it. I'm just glad that I'm at a space where like I don't even function with it anymore. And it's like in the drawer. I, I literally had to dig it out. There. I was like, where is this damn card at? No. <laughs> Oh, it's over here, okay? Like, so I'm glad that it's just like out of sight, out of mind. I've also gotten to a place where I've barely required my credit cards anymore, unless it's like something really large. I do use Afterpay as needed because I'm like, you know, if I want to buy, like, I like to wear Vapor Maxes. I like to wear the work. Usually they're like $100, $200. I found some recently for $85, but usually they're 100 hundred more dollars and I'm like fifty dollars every two weeks cool keeps the budget real fluid no interest so I'm I'm basically at a point thank God that I've gotten basically all my credit card debt kind of paid off and this is not a brag but I'm just I'm just rambling at this point do what works for you but as far as purchasing I knew I was gonna spend a little bit more money because it was like a couple things I wanted plus I was like I kind of need some backups but I've been glad because I've really been kind of working through my com my collection also so you know sometimes when the sale hits like I gotta have some fun like I gotta have something to look for forward to okay I, I just don't want refills of all my dang on brow pencils and honestly I stopped buying backups of my brow pencils because I'm like if I run out of one I could just run the Ulta it's the Ulta by my job it's the Ulta by my house not too far if I can need one I don't need like a bunch laying around just buy one when you need one <laughs> you know I know it's 20% off but I'm like I'm not running through them that fast even though I use them practically every day I'm just not so I stop with a lot of those backup things but some things I did like kind of buy a backup because I'm like down to the to the wire like it's gonna be in about a week and a half and I'm like girl now why you didn't buy it when it was on the sale so no particular order 
Oh, okay. I do want to mention if you have never used the same day ordering because I was not at home, my building is secure. I've never had an issue. I had somebody pick up my package before, but my neighbor's friend picked it up and by accident, I got it right back. Anywho, so everything looks like stapled and stuff because I wasn't at home. I was at work when they delivered my stuff. So, you know, yeah. So, ooh, okay. So I was very excited about this. This was on my list and my friend Kara had talked about it and I love cherry scents as well. This is the seven virtues, cherry ambition. Yes. So I, I had to get my light in here. I felt like it was like, it was a teensy bit dark. Anywho, this is the Seven Virtues Cherry Ambition. And so this is the 50 ml bottle. And it says, so when it comes to describing perfumes, I'm, I'm the worst, okay? I'm like, it smells good, y'all. <laughs> okay, I can probably do a little bit better than that. But this is Cherry Ambition. And it says, sustainably sourced with sandalwood from Australia and upcycled green cognac. There are, uh, does it tell the notes on here? Let's see if it shows. But, oh my gosh, I smelled this and I was like, this just smells so wonderful. It is a clean formula if that is something that like interests you. Um, let's see. Let's see. I'm a, okay, I can't open crap. So this is going to be interesting, me trying to open things. This can definitely be like one of those Instagram videos. You know what people do that. I, I mean, I like it, but I think we've gone overboard with it. <laughs> so it could definitely be one of those things. So this is Cherry Ambition. And like I said, I think it's a nice size bottle. The price was, let's see, $88 for the 50 mLs. And like I said, I had it on my list and I knew that it was going to smell good. I knew I was going to like it. Did I probably need another cherry fragrance? Probably not, but that's besides the point. Okay. Uh, let's see. It's clean and planet positive. It's vegan. It's, uh, looks like it's cruelty free, long wearing, um, it's warm and spicy are the fragrance family, which I really like warm and spicy. Ooh, I love some warm and spicy fragrances. Okay. And the keynotes are cherry, saffron, and vanilla. Mm -hmm. So I smell, I smell the cherry, the saffron. It just smells wonderful. I can't wait to wear it. So it does have a different vibe to it than like my lost cherry. It has a different vibe than, let's see, what is it? The cherry fragrance by Refinery that you get at Target, which just smells fabulous. Wearing that today. And I think I have like a little small thing of cherry punk, but it smells so good. I think the packaging is quite large for the size bottle, but okay, it's all good. So I was very excited about that. Oh, let's talk about this. Okay. So then I picked up, I needed another under eye setting powder because like I said, I talked about how I was down to the wire on a couple of things. And baby, I'm down to the wire. So I'm not an oily person. So I just always tend to set like my under eye concealer. And sometimes I'll set around here just to kind of knock some of the shine down or the between like my moisturizer and the foundation, especially if it's a more glowier foundation. But I can just kind of use this lightly set and this will last such a long time. But this is what my old one is looking like. This is the Pat McGrath powder in yellow. Packaging is trash. I really wish she would fix this, but I bought a backup, okay? Because I was like, look, I'm going to be done with this soon, okay? And this was $34. Now she came out with the pink one. Okay, so I definitely, this was fun for me. I kind of debated. I was like, do I need the pink one? But so they say the pink color is supposed to do some brightening. So I'm really excited to try what this is going to be like. So the shade is baby pink. I know everybody was really happy when she announced this. Um, You know, Pat McGrath, this powder is just, it's so finely milled. I do have it on now. It, my makeup looks good, but I think underneath my eyes, it looks, it looks fine, but my brushes are dirty as heck. So like it could look better. And I wore this to work. 
I put this on at eight o'clock. So I think we're going good. I updated my lipstick, but she has like the best under eye setting powder. Looks so smooth. It's great even when you have dry skin like I do. So yes, that was $34 as well. Let's see. Okay, this is me trying to get my life together again by trying to grow out. Do you see these lashes <laughs> that are non-existent? Okay, yes, I do have on mascara. They're like non-existent. Okay, so this is the Grande Lash Lash Enhancing Serum. This costs thirty-six dollars. It's a smaller tube. It's a six-week supply. And people, I, I've used lash serums in the past. And I probably have used this one in the past. Did I get some results? I remember seeing some just kind of spread out like this. Did I keep going with it? No. What's wrong with me? Don't know. But I want to do better. So I plan on using this. Okay. And because like, I just need better lashes. <laughs> I just really do. Okay. And <laughs> let's see. So they're promising, you know, results in four to six weeks. It's not a new product, but, you know, we've all seen it before. Okay. All right. This one, another real little refill. This is the Bad Girl Bang Mascara. This is my favorite mascara. And I probably really like the mascara because of the wand, okay? <laughs> because, like I said, I have no lashes. So this is the one I'm on which really can pretty much go to the empties at this point. I really also like my Blends Bunny mascara, but let me tell you something. The wand gives me trouble. Most wands give me trouble. That's why I like this wand because <laughs> look how small it is. And I probably need to get that little other viral mascara. I can't think of it, but I saw it on whatever site that was. But the wand is able to like grab my lashes and like separate my lashes because they always get stuck together and like I can pretty much for the most part avoid getting mascara up there <laughs> on my eyelid but that is a very hard thing for me to do let's be honest so yeah that's why I love this mascara and it's almost gone so I was like, okay, I really do need a fresh one. I tend to buy, this was $16. I tend to buy many mascaras because I have bad allergies and it can affect my eyes. And that way I'm not compromising a really large tube of mascara that's like $24, $36. I got a small one. If something happens to it, toss it. If I get some weird eye allergy thing and I think the mascara is in um, compromise, which we know mascaras, I, that's like the one thing I'm like, Ooh, we really probably should be changing now. I'm not mad because it's half the money. I'm probably halfway done with the tube anyway, versus like a whole tube of mascara. So that's why I tend to buy little mascaras now. Oh, hey, okay. this was a fun one because like I said, Oh, she's really, she's small. She's, she's mini. Okay. She's mini. <laughs> I, I didn't realize I, I was like I switched from the full size to the mini but she's mini <laughs> this is the rare beauty soft pinch blush okay this is the liquid blushes that's been so popular and let's see I have the color does it even tell you okay I have the color joy oh it says it right here it's so dang on small it's like right there like <laughs> okay so this retail the small one retail for 14 so i figured i'd go with the small one because like let's be honest am i gonna probably use up a big one no i mean it's many but it's fine because i'm like well no we'll see it's many many you know let's see i didn't know if this is a try on video but <laughs> ooh. And then I, I didn't, I don't really necessarily characterize myself as a liquid blush person, but I've really been enjoying it because I have my ones by Glaminatrix. Yes. And I was like, I've been really been using them. So I was like, oh, this will be cute. Let me try this color. Oh, she's pigmented. So. Okay, now I just look like a damn fool. Okay, let me. 
<laughs> look like a fool for the rest of the video. <laughs> Where's my foundation brush? Okay, so yeah, she's gonna work because you know, <laughs> look how pigmented, and clearly I don't need a lot. <laughs> yeah, just tone, tone that down. So, <laughs> all right. Well, we know she, she works. So yeah, so so many. Mm -hmm. But she's really like, she's giving tiny, tiny. Like, she's she's real small. Like the mascara is larger. Well, it's probably just this, but you know what I mean. Okay, <laughs> it's just real small, <laughs> but it's fine. <laughs> okay, <laughs> what else did I buy? <laughs> Okay, another backup, you know? Okay, my favorite primer. Like, I love this. I have dry skin. I talked about this in my dry skin video. This works so well eat with every, like, every foundation I have. I've never had bad experience with this on any of my foundations. This is the Fenty uh, Pro Filter Hydrating primer okay so this is the large one this is the 30 ml she retails for 36 dollars like i said well it's kind of on the side but as you can see it's laying on the side of my drawer but as you can see she's pretty much gone i probably got maybe about a week or so worth of use in here so yeah i was like okay i need to buy a new one and, oh, let's see. Two fun things, and then we are done. Like, all this money is crazy because the total is a lot of money. And, I mean, it's a lot of stuff, but it really ain't a lot of stuff. Makeup expensive, y'all. I mean, because the perfume was 88 so that's about damn near $100, you know. You got two of these, that's about 60 Yeah, you, you know. You, oh, plus this. That's about, that's about another hundred. Okay. All right. Okay. But this, I was interested in this because I need another red lipstick, like a hole in the head. Um, but this is the Matte Revolution Luminous Modern Matte Long Lasting Lipstick. Okay. This is from the Charlotte Tilbury line where she put out all those red lipsticks. This is Hollywood Vixen. And this shade kept calling me. I know these have been out for a while. It retailed for $35. Look at the packaging. It's so cute. So cute. I don't think I've ever had a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick before. So I'm excited about this. Oh, look at this. Look at this shade. I don't even want to mess it up, but I do want to give a little swatch. Oh, oh, it feels good. Oh, oh, look at that. Look how smooth. Mm -hmm. And it does feel hydrating. And baby, mm. so this shade was calling me. It's like a blue red. Yes, Charlotte. Mm, I'm going to have to get a couple. I really don't need a cu another couple of shades. But I I'll be back. My battery's about to die. All right. And the la so the last thing I got for fun was the Killian Paris Mini Discovery Set. Okay. And I thought that this was a good value. You get five of their most popular uh, fragrances or scents for $30. So I thought that this was a great little steal. I didn't want this to go like out of stock because you just never know, you know. So you get Princess. I do have um, like a rollerball version of the Princess one. You have Love, Don't Be Shy. You have the uh, second love um this one is for the fragrance version there the other one is like the more at the toilet let's see you have good girl gone bad and then you also have angel's share mm. I, I love me some angel share like it smells so good so so good mm, mm, mm. so yes <laughs> 
So that was for fun. And I did pick up two of the Jackie Ina fragrances. So that will be coming. So that will be also nice. Those I actually had to order directly from her website because I was kind of waiting for the sale and her stuff dropped on the second. But I wanted to get the rollerballs to travel. So I wanted to try it out first. I did not want to do the big splurge for the $79 on those and be like leery about how they smelled. So I got two of those from her website. I got Her Magic because it has like oud in it. And then I got NDA. So both of those seem like up my alley so this is what i got going on for my haul i'm excited i'm gonna put my stuff up you know get this little video edited for y'all so i hope you guys like what i purchased not too much some stuff very basic and but i'm really excited about this under eye powder to see how it looks on my complexion and then like i said i'm excited about my fragrances this Oh, I just wiped it off, but this lipstick is nice. Oh my gosh. And yeah, so I'm excited to play with some of my goodies and hopefully I'll get me some longer, fuller, lovely, luscious lashes. Okay. <laughs> so, all right. Let me a comment down below. Let me know, are you shopping a sale? What did you decide to pick up? Give this video a big old thumbs up. Hit the notification bell so you know when I come out with another video, which will be soon. And subscribe to my channel because you know, I would love to have you here in my little makeup family. And with all of that being said, you already know what time it is. It's time. For the chitties, chitties, ay, 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 chitties, mm, mm, chitties, ay, chitties, mm, mm, chitties. Mm. I'm done, y'all. <laughs> Bye.